Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to be going over all the build details done to this van, starting off with the dividing wall here. It is three quarter inch thick, solid wood lined with automotive fabric. You have your driver side lock. This is great for if you are parking somewhere and you don't necessarily need to get into the back side. You just put your key in, lock it, and then if anybody breaks in from the cockpit doors, they can't access the back. So because this is solid wood lined with fabric, it really helps out on soundproofing as well as insulating. It could be, you know, 110 degrees in the cockpit area and then a very comfortable 75 in the back. So let's go ahead and make our way back there. Okay, so once you step through your dividing door, you walk into the kitchen area. And if I just turn around, close the door behind me, you can see we have the backside lock. It's just a sliding pin. So that's great if you are all set for the night, you don't plan on going anywhere. You're lounging, winding down, you just lock it. And then again, if anybody were to break in from the front, they can't, they can't get to you. Okay, so let's talk about the kitchen now. Starting with the cabinet, we opted for one continuous door instead of the two. That way, when you open it, both sides are open. You don't have to switch back and forth trying to find the thing you're looking for. Because when you're in here, you could try your very hardest to memorize what's on this side and what's on this side. But when it comes time to get it out, I promise you, you will not remember. And we wanted a very minimal design. So there's no push knobs, there's no handles. So the way you get it open is there's a magnet that we attach to the fridge. It goes directly in the center towards the bottom and you'll hear a click that unlocks the magnet beneath it. And we have two horizontal hinges on both sides that can hold up the door so you can have your hands free to search for whatever you want that's in there. Then once you're done, they are soft closing. The magnet latch will catch, locking it up again. So you can get a little wild with your driving and not have to worry about your stuff spilling out everywhere. Underneath the cabinet is where you have your light switch. It is a single push button to turn them on. And then it is on a dimmer switch as well. And that will illuminate the three puck lights on the ceiling. Okay, so coming down, you have a massive 60 inch countertop. I believe the depth is 25 and a half. Nothing on top except for the sink, just to give you tons of prep space. The sink area, stainless steel, stainless steel faucet, I believe it is 13 wide, 16 and a half long, and then six inches deep. Uh, the faucet is retractable head. You have your stream setting and then your spray setting. It is hooked up to a pump at the bottom. It is five gallon tank with seven gallon gray water tank. This is your pump right here. It's all right directly below the sink, making it nice and easy. You have three different size cabinets. You have your largest on the bottom, medium in the middle, and then small on top. The bottom two have the same magnet lock as the cabinet up top. The top one, we couldn't fit one in there, um, but it is a like a plastic arm child safety switch. Each drawer offers plenty of space. The bottom one contains your induction cooktop. Uh, we chose not to mount that permanently just because honestly we couldn't decide. Um, so you could set it up here or on top of your refrigerator box um, and that'll give you some options. Okay, so moving on to the sliding door side of things, you have your refrigerator with refrigerator box. This is mounted to the floor and to the bed, so it's not gonna move. You can drive as crazy as you want. It's not gonna flip. You have freezer up top, refrigerator on the bottom. I believe this is 3.1 cubic feet of storage space for you. And then the sliding door side, you have two hangers up top, and that allows you to put, you know, grocery bags, jackets, coats, whatever you need up there. Then we put an LED light on the back side of this board just to help illuminate this corner because it's super dark right in here. 
and then that LED light continues on to your overhead storage space, helping you, helping you find whatever you need up there. Okay, so we'll go over the bedroom area now. We have a massive fixed bed. Uh, you have two electrical hookups, one here, one on the edge of the kitchen. You have two ports, two USB ports, and then the same one down here. Um, you have a really nice textured wallpaper just to help break up some of the white, make it a little bit darker in the bedroom. We chose to keep an open front just so you can access whatever you have in the back from the front side. Underneath the kitchen on the toe kick, you have a pipe that will run all the way through the toe kick into the driver's side area. And then that way, if you wanted to run um, your gas line back here or your, um, your battery hookup, you can. We don't have it set up, but it is an option if you wanted to do that in the future. Underneath the bed, you have your battery. And then that black thing right there is two electrical hookups that run into a single port on the outside of the door. Uh, so if you are at a campsite or whatever, you could hook up to electricity, have one running to the battery to charge it, and then the other one could power your fridge or however you want to do it, that option is there for you. So that pretty much wraps up all of the major build details on this van. If you have any questions about smaller detail stuff or dimensions, whatever, feel free to send me a message and I will answer them as soon as I can.